Question number five from the um, Pure One um, practice paper B that I compiled. Solve the pair of simultaneous equations x squared plus 4y squared equals 1 and 2y equals x plus 1. Okay, we want to solve these, this pair of simultaneous equations. So we want to find the value of x and y which make them both true, which satisfy both of them. Okay, so what we need to do here is um, we need to use substitution. Okay, when we've got this type of question, the only real way of doing it is by substitution. Okay, um, in fact, in, in this particular case, I can spot uh, another way of doing it as well. Okay, there's another way of doing it as well, which is also, um, which could be considered as elimination. Okay, because I can actually square this um, whole equation, both sides, I'll end up with 4y squared. Those will become the same. And then I have x plus 1 all squared. And then I could, I suppose, do that as well. So that's one way of doing it. So I'm, I'll actually show you two ways of doing it. Okay, I just kind of spotted that as I was looking at it. I'll first show you the traditional way of doing something where normally you wouldn't be able to be as lucky as that to find something where you could use elimination. But um, basically, when you're trying to solve a pair of simultaneous equations where one of them is a, a non-linear, like this one, and one is a linear one, then you always look for, um, try to find the coefficient of, in the linear equation, coefficient of x and y, which is 1. That makes your life a lot easier. You don't have to deal with fractions. So in this particular case, you can see that you've got 2y. 2y is equal to x plus 1. So what I can do is I can say, let make, let's make x a subject. So x is going to be 2y minus 1. This is 2y minus 1. Okay, so subtract 1 from both sides. So I can now substitute that instead of the x in the second in the first equation. So I can substitute 2y minus 1 instead of the x here. So if I look at equation 1, instead of x squared, I'll write 2y minus 1 squared. Then I'm going to have plus 4y squared equals 1. Now I have an equation with just y's in it. So I can now proceed to just solve this equation. So I can uh, square this bracket here. So I'm going to get 4y squared minus, I have 2 times 2y times minus 1, which is going to give you 4y, and minus 1, which is going to give you plus 1 when you square it, okay? And then you're going to have plus 4y squared equals 1. So if you combine the like terms, um, you have 8y squared minus 4y, and then if you try to bring the 1, if you subtract 1 from both sides, you will be left with no no constant terms. You have 8y squared minus 4y equals 0. I can divide both sides by 4, not by 4y, because if I divide by 4y, I'll lose one of the solutions. I'll end up with uh, 2y squared minus y equals 0. I can take out the common factor, which is y, and I'll have 2y minus 1 equals 0. I have, therefore, y equals 0. y equals 0 is one solution, and y equals a half as the other solution because 2y minus 1 is 0. So that, that's half of the answer. Now I've got to find the values of x, which you can do pretty simply because you have here, already written out, x is 2y minus 1. We know that x is equal to 2y minus 1. We found we rearranged already for that. So now all we do is when y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 2 times 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. So you can say that that's like minus 1, 0 is one solution. You don't have to write it in coordinate form. And then you've got when y is equal to a half, which is positive a half, okay, x is equal to 2 times a half minus 1. Well, 2 times a half is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's the point 0 and a half. Okay, so when y is 0, x is minus 1. When y is a half, x is 0. And you have your solutions to this equation. Okay, now I did mention that I'm going to show a different way, or there might be a different way of solving this equation using elimination. <coughs> As I spotted <coughs> that this 2y can become 4y squared, so we can then therefore eliminate. So I'll just see if that's actually easier to do. Okay, so basically I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to square both sides of it and see what happens. Let's see if that works out to be easier. Okay, so if I take this equation, I square both sides, I'm going to get 4y squared equals 
x plus 1 all squared. So I have x squared plus 4y squared equals 1. And I have 4y squared equals x plus 1 all squared. Now let me subtract. I suppose this way is probably easy to subtract. Okay, so if I subtract this both sides, on this side I'll have minus x squared and plus 0. I'm subtracting this way. Okay, so that's going to be 0 minus x squared and 4y squared minus 4y squared, which disappears, is equal to x plus 1 squared minus 1. Okay, so we can see here that we've eliminated the y's. Okay, so let's now expand the bracket here. We're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so this becomes 0. And we're going to have basically, if I add x squared to both sides, 2x squared. Let me tidy that up a bit. 2x squared, because I add x squared to both sides, plus 2x equals 0. Okay, in which case I'll just, although I'm not supposed to, I'll just, I'll just work on this side here. In which case you're going to have um, x squared plus x equals 0. Divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have either, well we have x times x plus 1 is 0. So either x is 0 or x is negative 1. Now if we then look up here and we see, we know x equals 2y minus 1. Or we could say, we can actually use it from here. We got 2y equals x plus 1. That means y is equal to x plus 1 divided by 2. So when x is 0, y is going to be 0 plus 1 over 2, which is a half. And when x is minus 1, then y is going to be minus 1 plus 1, which is 0 over 2, which is 0. So we have our solutions. It looks like that might have been even easier than the first method. Okay, so that's fine. If you can spot something like that, that's well and good. Okay, and you should always make sure that you're correct by substituting these values back into the equation. Like when x is 0, okay, you're going to have 0 plus 4 times a quarter. 4 times a quarter is 1. 1 equals 1. That works. And when x is minus 1, you're going to have minus 1 squared, which is 1. Okay, plus 0 is 1. That works. And then check it for the second equation. y is 0. If you have 0 equals minus 1 plus 1, that's correct. And um, that's correct. And when x is 0, you're going to have a y 2 times y 2 times a half is 1 equals 0 plus 1 that's correct so they both these pairs of solutions work in both the equations so we're sure that we're correct in our answer okay um the the thing that is something that some students did actually is they actually made y the subject and they put y equals x plus 1 over 2 okay and some of them got the correct answer and there's no not really a big problem but it's just making your, your life a bit more difficult for, for yourself. Because you have to deal with fractions and then you're going to have to substitute that y in here. So you've got to multiply, you've got to square that whole fraction. You have x squared plus 2x plus 1 over 4, then multiply by 4. I guess it works out, but it's most, most, in most cases it's easy to, to choose the one that doesn't have a coefficient uh, except for 1. It's like you could just write it as x equals without a fraction on the other side. Okay, or alternatively, if you can spot, if you're lucky enough to spot something like this, maybe that's even easier. But although that's quite rare to see something like come up where it's easy to eliminate in this type of question. Okay, so that's the end of this question. I think it's number five.